Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video, uh, another video in our series of video dealing uh, with, I suppose, hypothesis testing. It's going to look at what's known as the critical value, the critical value approach, the critical value approach, uh, compared to what is known as the p-value. Uh, approach the p-value approach uh, to the decision uh, part of the hypothesis test. Let's keep in mind that a hypothesis test has it's a five-step step stage five-step process. Uh, step one, we define the hypothesis. Okay. Uh, step two, we define the significance level associated with our test, our significance level. Uh, that's our alpha level, okay? Uh, the probability of committing a type 1 error. Uh, step 3, uh, we measure the magnitude of the difference between the evidence and the null position, which is known as our test statistic. Okay? We measure our test statistic. And then, depending on the approach, depending on whether we're dealing with, uh, let's say, what's known as the critical value approach or the p-value approach, uh, we measure we measure our critical values, okay, uh, or we measure the we measure the probability of observing of observing our particular test statistics, okay. So under the critical value approach, uh, step four would be we calculate our critical values, okay, our critical values, uh, and then what we do with step five is we make our we make our decision, okay. Okay. Whereas under the p-value approach, we calculate uh, part four. We calculate the probability, probability uh, uh, associated with the probability of observing, of observing uh, the test statistic, the test statistic. Okay. Uh, and then step five, uh, we make our, we make our decision. Okay. Okay, so let's just maybe walk through it. I mean, everything is similar here. Uh, step one is the hypothesis defined, null and alternative. Uh, step two is the alpha level, the probability of committing a type one error. Uh, test three is the magnitude of the difference between uh, the evidence and the null position. Okay, all standardized, of course. Uh, that's our test statistic. Uh, and then where things change a little bit is depending on whether we're following a critical value approach or we're, we're following the probability p-value approach. So let's have a look at the critical value. So let's assume we've defined the hypothesis, we've measured, we've set the alpha level, we've measured our test statistic. Okay. So let's say, for argument's sake, that the alpha value is equal to five percent. Okay. Or let's say alpha is equal to zero point zero five. Okay. So what is this critical value? Well, the critical value is the region along the curve, okay, or it's it's a position along this horizontal axis, more importantly, okay, so it's a position, okay, along this axis, okay. Now, don't forget that when we measure a test statistic that we have a sampling distribution associated with, with our test statistic, let's assume it's normal, okay, so we're, we've got a bell-shaped curve, okay, we have a bell-shaped curve, okay, and let's assume it's standardized, so it's positioned, it's positioned on zero, okay. Well, the critical value is a value along this particular axis. It's a value along this axis, okay, uh, that has a certain amount of area to its right-hand side, okay. Uh, now, depending on whether it's a one or two-tail test, we're just assuming in this case that's a single-tail test. So it's some position along this particular horizontal axis here, okay. Uh, and that position, where that where that is demarcated, that particular point, yeah, that point is demarcated by the alpha value. It's by this amount of area. What we need to have is we need to have a certain amount of area in that particular tail. How much area should be in the tail? Well, 0 0.05 of the area, or 5% of the total area under the curve, should be in that particular tail when we set the alpha is equal to is equal to 0 0.05. But more importantly, this critical value here, okay, this critical value, the C, is just a position along this particular axis, yeah? And it just happens that that position, when we look at the area to the right hand side, the area to the right hand side of it is the alpha level. It is, it is, it is in this case, it's equal to 5%. Okay? So now what do we do? To make our decision, we compare, we compare our test statistic, okay? our TS, our test statistic, let's call that. 